Hi everyone, Sarah here. I know a long time no see or hear. <laughs> I've been spending some time with my family and uh, yeah. So I hope everybody had a great Christmas and looking forward to a, a great New Year's. Uh, I just wanted to come on to share with you guys some of the cards that I received from my crafty friends. Um, so I got this beautiful card here. This is from Nola. Thank you, Noah. It's so sweet. I love that dye. It's very pretty. So she layered it and cut it in all the different colors. And I love the saying, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. I have one of those from uh, CC Design. So she sent me a wonderful letter and then she also sent me some, this is a sticker. This is really cool. So pretty vintage. And then she sent me some dyes, which are awesome. There's a choo-choo. And these are the silhouettes. I don't know if you guys will be able to see there. Of the like old fashioned carolers. Those are really cool. And then there's some gold Christmas tree. This one's a snowflake, which is really pretty. And this hat on a stand, that is so cool. And then this Christmas tree, which is so intricate. So pretty and sparkly. Love them. Thank you so much, Nola. And then I got a card from Peggy, which is awesome. I think this is um, Graphic 45. So very, very nice. Thank you so much, Peggy. There's Peggy, JP Peggy too. <laughs> and this was from Fran. Fran. No, this is from Faith and Frankie. So she sent this beautiful card with the little birdies. They're so cute. Season's tweetings. And that inside. And then she sent us some goodies for Jonathan and I. There's a couple of mason jar die cuts. And these, I believe, are digis. Or like printed scrapbook stuff. And then she sent me some metal flowers. Thank you so much. They're very pretty. And then minion stickers for Jonathan. I'm surprised he... I think he forgot that I had them in my craft room. <laughs> he will steal them soon, though. And then she sent me this whimsy stamp, which is so cute. Um, little Chloe vignette. I think she's in... I want to say it's a peach or an apple. And then she has a little basket of fruit. So cute. Thank you so much. And she sent it in one of these super cute envelopes. I love those. Okay, and then one last one. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Jonathan's giving me his germs. And this one is from... Oh, I'm losing my mind. Jill LaBelle. It is so awesome. She does watercolor and it is so cool. Like it looks like that is printed, does it not? But she watercolored it. And it's just one of those standing um, 3D ones. So she put the window frame with the snowflakes and then her watercolor image in the back and then she did the back um, for the sentiment. I love it. It's so cool but her watercoloring is amazing. Sorry, the lighting's not great to show that off. It's so pretty though. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'll show you guys too what I got for Christmas. <laughs> I bought myself some coloring books. Um, we don't do presents, my husband and I, to each other. Um, usually we just um, buy something from the kids to us. So. Pretty much this is my gift from the kids, but I got to pick it out. <laughs> so I found the uh, Creative Haven coloring books. So this one is the cat one, which I've been wanting because I love cats. And these are really cool. I'll show you. I did pull one out and start coloring it. <laughs> it was in front of the TV when it was dark, so it's kind of meh. But they perforate out so you can take it out and put it on top of something or put it on a clipboard and they're one-sided so you can use your markers. They're very cool and the images in these ones are so awesome. I just love cats. 
They're so cute. So I picked out that one. And then I also picked out the owls, because I love owls too. So it's the same Creative Haven. It's so pretty. Again, same thing. Their pages are perforated so you can cut them out and color them. Not worry about bleeding and stuff. And then I found the uh, coloring calendar from Do Magazine. So apparently this is the magazine that actually is for coloring and, tang and zentangling. So, sorry, my camera's pretty close right now so it's hard to show. It basically just goes through with a picture for each month so you can color them. They're also perforated so they can come off. And then there is, um, in the middle, these postcards that are all, you can pull them out, color them, and use them. So pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. So there's all the images there. Yeah, so I got those at Mary Maxim here in Canada. I know I Michaels has these ones. I didn't realize that until after, but I thought uh, they were eight dollars at Mary Maxim. So I thought that was a good price. And then my Christmas present from my mom. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I already have the Crazy Bird stamp. So she got me the crazy things and then also the dies for both. So super excited. I've actually already um, stamped them out, all of them out on watercolor paper yesterday. So that is my project for today. I'm going to do some crazy birds and then cut them out with the die cuts. So excited about that. And then um, Boxing Day shopping. This is all I got. This is it. I went to Michael's and of course all the Christmas stuff is 70% off. Um, and I found these little uh, chalkboard tags. I didn't see them before. So there's 10 of them and I believe these came out to like $2.39. So I thought these would be super cute um, to make either gift tags or ornaments. And they're super thick and sturdy and they are actual chalkboards. So. We picked up the stockings and the candy canes. And they did have, um, they also had chip, like just plain brown chipboard and then also, um, what's it called? That woven fabric. Oh, can you tell my brain is just gone? Yeah. And I was lucky enough to find these little paper pads. I found two, so my mom got one and I got one. Ooh, look at the glare. So this is the foil sheet, so perfect for die cutting. So they were 70% off. I think it was like $2.99. And I did pick a 12 by 12 pattern paper. I picked this one because um, it's actually a variation of an older one. This is Recollections Be Merry, but it was um, a different brand before that did these, um, the snowman, this is a new one, this is new. And this is new and I love this paper like the, the Christmas trees over here I love the colors um, it's got red and green but it also has the pink and blue this is one that I used before and cut out all the words to the night before Christmas um, it's just one of my favorites so that is the only reason that I picked it up they were 70% off, so it was $8.99. Yeah, so I got that one, and then we also found this one, which was hiding in a different section, but it is holiday. So it was also 70% off. And this is the um, holiday glitzy paper, so it's all the sparkle. So there is some patterns, some snowflakes, solids, and stripes, but this is the really nice, soft, smooth, sparkle paper so it's good for die cutting your words and, and your sentiments and stuff so that was it i think i did really good 
I did buy kids crafts for the kids. Um, and my last Boxing Day purchase, yay! <laughs> the kids wanted to go to Best Buy for video games and um, I just thought I would look at the microphones. And this one was on sale, so I picked it up. And this is going to be for my voiceovers. So hopefully they sound so much better. Um, it's really funky looking. So cool. So just have to set it up and plug it in and use it for my voiceovers. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to give that a try today. You guys will have to let me know how it sounds. Okay, so that is it. Again, I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. And um, if you're not part of my Freeze Buddies groups, you haven't seen, but my goal for 2016 is use it or lose it. So I am having 52 weeks worth of challenges. Um, I'm going to challenge myself to use the stuff or, or lose it, basically. So... I'm gonna have this is gonna help me to organize my craft room and get rid of some stuff because obviously I have too much stuff and to also um, keep down my spending so so far I've done pretty good that was just my boxing day spending that I had there for Michaels and the last time I purchased online was November 30th yay baby steps <laughs> Alright, so that is it. Leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks, bye!